Good morning, everyone. Uh, Jeff Cross here on another Monday edition of the YouTube. Little quick two, three minute hits, all we're going to do. That's it. Uh, quick and easy. So, um, just if you want to contact me, email me at jeffcross22 at gmail.com. That's my email address, and then uh, I'll respond right away if you have any questions. Also, you need to go in and like my YouTube channel. Just search Jeff Cross Officiating. Um, should come right up, and then that way you guys get notified when I put up the video. All right, question came to me this week. Uh, I'm going to do my best to try and answer it. I don't know if I'll come up with the right answer or the answer everybody's looking for, but the um, question was came up is, what do I need to do to qualify for the playoffs? Well, it's a pretty vague question, and there's really no 100% X's and O's that you can check. The one thing that you have to do, obviously, is take the NCAA test. Take the NCAA test and pass the NCAA test in a timely fashion. That, you know, Some leagues have uh, different perspectives. You've got to do all the quizzes or whatever it is, but that's the only thing you have to do to qualify. Now, when you talk about qualifying, that's it. Now you've got to compete against, I don't know, let's just say there's 150 people on staff. You've got 150 people on staff. And 150 people have done whatever it takes to qualify, which is basically take the NCAA test. Now, you have to be, and there's only, let's just say in one league, there's um, nine spots, right? We have three for the first semifinal, three for the second semifinal. Then we have three for the final. So there's nine spots, possibly alternate. So now you have 10 spots that are available out of 150 people on staff. So... What do you got to do to qualify? Oh, how about being the top 10? <laughs> There's an idea. You got to be in the top 10 of 150 people. That's why it's hard, you guys. It's not going to be easy. You can't just say, hey, I've checked out all these boxes and I'm going to qualify. So um, think about that as you get ready for the season, as the season's coming upon us, uh, our preseason time's coming, getting ready for it. We're getting ready for the preseason time and it's going to be, uh, it's going to be fun, but it's going to be difficult. So I, I've talked about the inner game, and I just I've talked about different books that I read, um, but I just want to make mention of this book um, because I believe it could be something that uh, can get you to the top ten. If not, it'll for sure uh, make your job real, uh, real, real easy to t tolerate sometimes in those difficult days. And uh, the, the the book is called uh, Unmistakable, okay, and it's called What Only Is Better Than Best unmistakable okay and it's written by it's s r i n i v a s r a o is his last name great book literally takes maybe three hours to listen to you could probably actually if you were going to read it you could probably read it in about two hours very very simple book but it gives a great insight and i'm going to give you one quote from it and then you can go out and try and find it if you want to, or uh, if you want to you send me an email, I'll send you a, a screenshot of what, what the uh, book looks like. Here's what he says, because it's, 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 it's meant for entrepreneurs and things like that. So he says, uh, people that have their own business, they're the only pe people that want to have a successful business. They're the only people that will work 80 hours a week to try and keep from working a 40 hour work week. Well, does that not apply to referees all day, every day? We, referees are the only people I know that will work 80 hours a week. We'll break down film. We'll do all those things just to try and keep from working a 40-hour work week. So I think it applies to us all day, every day. So unmistakable. I believe you guys will like it. It's a four-hour read or a four-hour listen, however you want to do it. And let me know what your thoughts. Again, jeffcross22 at gmail.com. And you can uh, like my YouTube channel at Jeff Cross Officiating. Talk to you all later. Do hard things.